What's going on everybody? So yeah, the World War II beta has ended as you can see on the screen when you try to press join the fight. Uh, you get this message saying thank you for playing. And yeah, so today I just wanted to talk to you guys and like basically my review for every single weapon in the Call of Duty World War II beta. Um, if you guys want to see like the gun in the creative class, I'm going to put a link down below to a website that has it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to like on screen, I'm just going to show a uh, gameplay that I, that I did. Uh, it was actually a pretty good game, so I decided to put it up. So the first one is the M1941. The, I'm going to rifles first. And this gun was sort of like a medium gun. Like I, I wasn't crazy about this gun, but it wasn't a bad gun either. It was the first weapon that I did use in the entire beta. And yeah, it wasn't that bad to be honest. Like I, I kind of liked it, but I just felt like they could have done better with this gun. Or I felt like the STG would have been a better rifle to use as opposed to the M1941. But if if you're starting out playing, uh, use this gun. It's really, really good and you should be fine in game. Uh, the next gun is the M1 Grand. The M1 Grand, I really expected it to be a lot more. Um, I don't know if it just didn't like fit itself to my playing style, but it I, I, I didn't really like the M1 Grand that much. It wasn't too, it didn't click with me that much, and I don't really know why. Maybe I'm just not crazy on the rifles, but um, yeah. The M1 Grand, I, I may, have, I think you need to use attachments on it. Like the scope on it is a little weird, and I feel like you're gonna have to use something else just to make it a little better. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad gun though. I would say it's about like, uh, like a medium. Uh, if I'm going from one to one to five. I'd say it's about like a 3 for me, and the M1941 is like about a 3.5, something like that. The next gun we have is the STG. I'd say this gun is around like a 4 out of 5. This this gun is really... It's it's just a weird gun. Like, I mean, it's good for any situation. Um, you can kind of use it long range, you can use it mid range especially, and short range you're good unless, you know, someone has like a shotgun is right next to you or an SMG and is right, right next to you. Um, but yeah, the SCG was a really good gun. You just got to keep your distance with this gun, put some attachments on it. Uh, you don't really need to put a scope on it because the default scope is good. Like, I, I personally used it. I just put other attachments on it. So yeah, the SCG, I'd say it's, yeah, around a 4 out of 5. Next one we have the M1A1 carbine. Again, with the I have the same feelings with the M1 Grand with this gun. Like I didn't, I wasn't too crazy about the M1 Grand or the M1A1 carbine. I'd say it's about a three out of five for me again. I know people are gonna disagree. I I just really, first of all, didn't like the scope at all, like that much. So I I used the like another scope when I got the chance, and I didn't really use this gun at all. Like. I, I just tried it a couple times and I just feel like there was better options out there. It wasn't a bad gun, I just, you know, felt like there was better options. Now moving on to the submachine guns, we start off with the grease gun. The grease gun was the grease gun was alright. I'm gonna say it's like a three or three point five out of um out of five. And to be honest, the submachine guns in this in this game were ridiculous. They dominated the entire game if you played with it correctly. Uh, yeah, the grease gun, I mean, I personally like to use it with a silencer using the airborne kit, and the scope was not that bad either. I actually really liked the scope. I didn't feel the need to put on any other default scope. Like, I felt like it was fine. The next gun is the PPSH-41. Guys, I really didn't like this gun in the beginning of the beta. I thought it was an absolute disappointment. But the more and more I used it, I actually really liked it. I'm going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5. Like one of the best guns in the beta. I really enjoyed it and like I, it kind of killed me because I was there wasn't much time for the beta and I tried to like, I already max leveled the PPSH and I kept wanting to use it. But I wanted to use other guns too. Like honestly when the beta ended, I was very unexpected. Like I wasn't recording any videos. I was planning to, but I didn't. Um, I just kind of came on expert. I thought we were gonna get like an extra day. But yeah, guys, the PPSH, extremely good gun. 
When you have the drum mag, it's so drum mag and rapid fire. Whoever comes across you is fucked. But you can't go like sniper range kills, okay? Because if somebody has a sniper, then you're fucked. You gotta play smart with this. You gotta, you know, kill people like short range or short mid. Something like that. The next gun we have is the Type 100. I wasn't too crazy about this gun either in the beginning. Like, I thought it was okay in the beginning. And during like the middle of the beta, I actually loved it on the map Gibraltar. Like, I was going crazy with it. Maybe, I just had, it was just a really good situation, I felt, <coughs> fuck, sorry, really good about this gun. Um, not much to say about this gun, I'd say it's like a 3.5 out of 5. Um, really, I mean, you just have to, I personally like to use it with a silencer, it just, I, every SMG I like to use it with the silencer. I feel like it, like, just makes it better. Unless you're like shooting across the entire map, and then you're fucked. But yeah, 3.5 out of 5, type 100. Next gun we have is the WAF 28. Guys, I did not like this gun at all. At all. It had a huge fire rate. So good, right? But no. It, it just. It was a disappointment, man. Like. That's the only thing you can do is shoot fast, but I know it's really good and all, but like, seriously. This gun, I couldn't get shit with it. Like, and I tried, I tried so hard to like it, but I just couldn't. Like, this gun was, it kind of pissed me off. It was a really big disappointment. And I really preferred the type over the, the WAF. And I'm going to give it like a, a 1.5 or a 2 out of 5. And this is just a personal opinion, of course, for all of you. Next one we have is the M1928, which is also known as the Thompson. The Thompson is a really, really good gun. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. My god, this gun is so sexy. Like, when you put the drum mag, I mean, I, you really need, like, three attachments for this gun if you want to, like, absolutely dominate. You need, like, you know, a bullet or a rifle enhancement, you need fire rate, and then you need a drum mag. Drum mag because it looks badass, and because it's a submachine gun. If you have rapid fire, might as well get those uh, extra shots in there. I think it's like extra 15 bullets, and that 15 bullets has helped me so much. I know it's like just half a mag extra, but like it really, really helped me. Um, now we're moving down to the LMGs. Guys, the LMGs I was not crazy about at all. Like, I. I didn't even have an LMG equipped in my regular class slot. If I wanted to use one, I would use the default one. Out of the 10 classes you could have, you know, like the 5 custom classes and the 5 default ones, I, yeah, I just kept the one uh, LMG class. Honestly, guys, I wasn't too crazy about the guns. I mean, the Lewis gun, I thought I really liked the Lewis gun, but like, when I used it, I did not like it that much. I think the best LMG is the MG15. Uh, but yeah, the Lewis gun, I'm probably going to give it like a 2 out of 5, or 1 out, one out of 5, I was not crazy about it at all. The MG15, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5, it was very, I, th I like the MG15, if you use it properly, you're, you're good, but the Lewis, I did not like it all that much. The Bren, the Bren, the Bren, the Bren, very weird looking gun, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5, honestly, I wasn't too crazy about this gun either. The MG15 was the best LMG in my opinion, and the other LMGs were just a disappointment. To, well, for me and my playing style. Um, and my playing style is just you know rushing in and stuff. But like I can also I also am capable of camping or staying back with an LMG, and I tried that, but it didn't work. Cause like people with snipers would just pick me off, or I'd get unlucky, or it, it was just weird. Next we have the Carabin. Oh my god, guys, I hated this gun. This is, we're moving on to sniper rifles. I like the snipers in this game, every other one besides the Carabin, but like, my god. The Carabin was awful. So bad. So bad. Like, the only thing that kind of would make me happy about this gun is the headshots. The headshots. Like, when you get a headshot, it's like a one-hit kill. But it's hard to do that, and this gun is very weird. Like, it's if there's an enemy, you shoot him in the body, but your gun 
your gun's recoil already shifted up and you can't hit him again. Like, you're fucked. I mean, you could do some extra shit, but like, the carabin was a disappointment. And then no scoping with the carabin? Even worse, man. You, like, when there's somebody beside you or around you, you can't no scope. I don't know why, but in, the, in general, for the snipers in this game, you could not, like, really black scope or no scope in this game. <sighs> fuck. The next gun we have is the Commonwealth. Honestly, guys, the Commonwealth and the Springfield, also known as the M1903, I... I probably, I think that's called the Springfield. I honestly like these two snipers a lot. Uh, starting with the Commonwealth, I... The Commonwealth. Um... It was just a standard sniper rifle. There was nothing special about it that much. It was just a good sniper rifle. And I'm gonna give it, like, a... 4 out of 5. Just because I really like this gun, honestly. It was a great gun. It, it's, just, it's just so standard. It's like what you expect from a sniper rifle. Um, and the M1903, and some people call it the Springfield, I think. Um, this gun... I really did not like this gun in the beginning when it came out. But the more and more I used it and I practiced with it, I began to love this gun. And in the beginning, if you asked me, I would probably give this like a 2 out of 5. But now I'm probably going to give it like a, a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. That's how much it improved. Alright, now we have shotguns. The Winchester 1897. And it looks like the trench gun. Um, what can I say about this gun? I would honestly give this like a 2.5 or a 3 out of 5. Because seriously, it, it kind of was disappointing for having a shotgun like this. I don't know. I mean, some instances I would shoot someone right beside them and I wouldn't even get the kill. And I mean, if I had the X, like the fire bullets on it, they would still be alive, but slow they would still die by the fire but like they would kill me before they die and you know i have to like pump up the shotgun again so it takes a while and they if they have like an smg or even a shotgun they can kill me right away so yeah like it was too crazy crazy about this gun then we have the m30 luftwaffe drilling ho 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 such a badass gun seriously seriously this was my favorite gun in the beta honestly i would give this no, one of my favorite guns in the beta. I would give this like a, a 4.5. Back to the PPSH, I think I'd also give it a 4.5. Those two guns are my favorite in the beta. The This gun was just so good. Like when you used it in Point the Hawk, if you use it smart, my goodness, you could get so many kills. So many kills. And then, then they had this idea of putting like a rifle attachment on it. Making it a all-in-one shotgun sniper rifle everything man. It, it was just such a good gun and it's like it's also the double barrel it looks like the double barrel shotgun from world at war so it's like you have a nice gun from a long time ago that we played in world at war and then you have you know fire bullets you can shoot back to back two bullets or you have you can get like an option of a third bullet like usually when i'm in a bad situation i get two hit markers or on like two different people kills one and the other's still alive i usually just switch over to the rifle bullet and kill him right away it was so simple it was so good and that's why i love the m30 luftwaffe, luftwaffe drilling my god <sighs> here we go the toggle action shotgun this gun was a weird gun very very weird gun i i wanted to like it that's the thing i really wanted to like it but i did not like it and i'm for those of you for those of you who like this gun i'm honestly giving it a two out of five seriously this gun was a for the last shotgun that you could unlock this was a disappointing shotgun honestly honestly I just don't know what it was like I just felt like I'd rather use the I was I'm not even too crazy about the Winchester and I'd rather use the Winchester and it's like why would you use the toggle action when you can use the M30 Luftwaffe drilling or the double barrel double barrel shotgun it doesn't make any sense to me so yeah guys um 
in summary, the best rifle I'd say is the STG. The best submachine gun is the PBSH, followed by the Thompson, because they're so close I have to mention both of them. The best LMG is the MG15. Um, the best sniper rifle is the Commonwealth, but really, really close is the M1903, like really, really runner up. And the best shotgun is the M30 Luftwaffe Driller. Now let's go over the three or the secondary weapons. So first we have the P08. The P08, I'd say for okay now it's in terms of pistols. I would say it. I'd say it's about like a three point five out of five. I really like the the P08. It wasn't that bad of a gun. Range was good. Hip fire was good. It was it was just not bad. It was a good backup weapon for if you were not ranked twenty five and you couldn't unlock nineteen eleven or. Anything. But yeah, followed by 1911, I'd say this gun was like a 3 or a 2.5 out of 5. For this gun being, the 1911 is my favorite pistol of all time, and for them to make it as bad as they did in the beta was just a huge disappointment. The fire rate was slow as hell, the damage was okay, and the recoil was a little weird, so it's like you couldn't really use it. And then I tried the dual wield with it, and my god, it was almost impossible to like I had to do some sneaky extra shit like and when I used the PO8s in dual wield it was so perfect it was so smooth and yeah for the machine now we have the machine pistols the machine pistols I feel like it's a good backup I'd say it's a four out of five for backup but the only problem that I have with with it is the ammo and you really have to level up your weapon to get the extended mags in order for this gun to work. Because otherwise you're fucked, honestly. If you're going with the machine pistols, you're fucked. You know, also, dual wield, it's... It's a... I, actually, by the machine pistols by itself, you can still get a lot of kills. It's just a little hard. You have to put attachments on it, like, you know, uh, advancements or enhancements, like, you know, advanced rifling or some bullet attachments and as for the dual wield and yeah of course you have to use the extended mags but as for the dual wield only being able to use that one attachment which is bad for all of the secondary weapons um dual wield was pretty good i really like the dual wield i mean you have to play really really short like uh, uh short range kills you can't do some long you can't go into like sniper areas you have to like sort of like move tippy toe bullshit through the whole map but yeah if you play smart with it it's a really good gun okay so yeah and the last two guns we have the bazooka and the panzer shrak the bazooka it was an okay gun i'd say for launches it's like a two out of five but the panzer shrak four out of five definitely i love the panzer shrak i did a whole video on it i used like an lmg and the panzer shrak it was a good gun i really enjoyed it but anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you did enjoy, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.